This is your money. You work hard to make it. And that's why 96 million people rely on their credit unions. Credit unions are rooted in communities with a mission to serve their members, especially the middle class, working families, and small businesses. They're member-owned and democratically run. And unlike banks, credit unions return their earnings to their members through higher interest on savings and low or no fees. Since a credit union's earnings benefit its members, they are not for profit and are tax exempt. Credit unions also provide competition to banks by giving consumers a choice. That helps everyone. But some banks don't want this competition. They want to maximize profits for a small group of investors. And now there's talk in Washington about imposing new taxes on credit unions. These new taxes would fundamentally change or even eliminate credit unions. Bankers say taxing CUs will help balance the budget. Really? 40% of Americans are credit union members, yet credit unions hold only 6% of all financial assets, while banks hold the rest. So taxing CUs won't dent the budget deficit, but it will hurt the people who depend on them and our economy. For every dollar in new credit union taxes, the government wipes out $10 in benefits. That takes money right out of the hands of 96 million credit union members. So many banks and some Washington politicians are trying to raise taxes on the middle class so banks can make more profit. But you didn't save your money to make someone else rich. Banks and credit unions have always been different for a reason. And if you like the difference, you can make a difference. Visit don'ttaxmycreditunion.org to see what you can do.